Hi, I am Dr. Mangesh Kamath. I am a senior consultant and medical oncologist, hematologist, oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician. Today I am going to talk about a very rare lymphoproliferative disease called as Castleman's disease. Castleman's disease is not very well recognized by a lot of uh, uh, patients because of the fact that it is not a very common disease. It needs uh, an extremely skilled team of medical oncology, pathology and also the right treatment has to be given at the first time so that this disease can be managed effectively. So what is Castleman's disease? It is otherwise called as angiofollicular lymphoproliferative disorder. What this means is that all of us have lymph nodes in various parts of our body. And all these lymph nodes serve like security guard stations for various organs in our body. When these security guard stations are compromised, then these lymph nodes get destroyed. And these destroyed lymph nodes can give rise to enlarged or swollen lymph nodes, which can be painful, which can actually look unsightly. So, the way to diagnose Castleman disease is by doing a whole node lymph node biopsy where we take out the entire single node out of maybe multiple nodes in the same region which will help us in actually analyzing the lymph nodes architecture under the microscope. An experienced hematopathologist would be able to diagnose this entity. Now why does this occur? It occurs because of viral infections, autoimmune disorders. It is a very popular uh, known virus which uh, was very common in HIV patients called as Kaposi sarcoma virus or HHV8. This virus infection is also known to cause uh, Castleman disease. In general, Castleman disease is divided into unicentric Castleman disease, meaning the disease affects only one group of lymph nodes, maybe just a left neck lymph node and nowhere else. Multicentric Castleman disease, where multiple groups of lymph nodes can be enlarged, and this probably may lead to multiple lymph nodes, and sometimes it may be even misdiagnosed as a lymphoma or the cancer of the lymph nodes. In multicentric Castleman disease, you divide them into HHV8 or Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus related uh, MCD or multicentric Castleman disease, or the idiopathic Castleman disease, which is not due to HHV8. The treatment for each of this is different, so make sure that all these three major entities are very well classified at the beginning itself. I know this is not a very common disease, but I am speaking to those who are either diagnosed with Castleman disease or who are under evaluation for Castleman disease and this is why I decided to educate you about Castleman disease. For uh, treatment, we will have another video following this and through that I will probably highlight how we can uh, treat Castleman disease effectively.